All right, so pre-calculus 20, section 8.2, we're going to talk about solving systems by elimination. So there's two different ways you can solve uh, systems of equations. By substitution, which I just did an example in another video on substitution. This one is by elimination. So what we want to do is we want to simply add both equations, and we want to eliminate a variable in doing that. So we want to get rid of a variable so that we end up with one equation with one variable that we can solve for in the traditional way. So what you see here is this. So we have x squared terms, and these uh, it's, it's nice and handy that these are lined up in columns, okay? That's actually pretty important that the like terms are lined up in columns like this. So if it's not like that when it's given to you, you should probably rearrange it a little bit so that you can have them like that. Now, if we try to eliminate, let's say, the x squared term or something like that, we would still have an x term at the end and a y term. That's not good. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate the y, okay? If we can get rid of the y terms, we're going to have an equation with just x terms, and we're good to go. So how do we do that? Well, we want to focus on this y term, and if you recall, in order to add something to eliminate it, uh, let's say we have a negative 2y, I would want to add a positive 2y to give us 0y, then in essence, the y term is gone. So right now, I want to make sure that I have a 2y here, and I simply do that by multiplying the entire second equation by 2. Um, now this is actually, oh sorry, this is a positive 2y, so I'm going to need a negative 2y down here, positive. So I'm going to multiply this second term by a negative 2. Okay, so what, what happens there? Well, this second equation becomes negative 4x squared minus 2x equals negative 2y, and that's going to be plus 8. All right, so I'm going to now erase this, or I'll just stroke it out so you can still see it. And then now we're dealing with these two equations only. All right, so as we pick it up, again, we want to add these two equations now. And that you notice that the 2y and the negative 2y, that's going to add up to 0y. So this is what we're going to get. We're going to add the two equations, add like terms. So 6x squared minus 4x squared is 2x squared. Negative 3x minus 2x is negative 5x. 2y minus 2y is 0y. So I'm going to leave that blank right there. There's nothing there. 0y it just means it's nothing. Negative 5 plus 8 is positive 3. Okay. So now I've eliminated the y variable. That's what elimination is. And now I can focus on solving for the x. And this is a quadratic. So 2x squared minus 5x. It's going to be minus 3 equals 0 if I get that 3 over here. And you can use a quadratic formula, which we haven't done that in a while. So let's use the quadratic formula. Um, if you remember, the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, the quadratic sum. And so what we're going to do is we have to identify a, which is 2, b, which is negative 5, and c, which is negative 3. And so this is, uh, you, don't, you could do this by factoring as well like we've done before, or you could use the quadratic formula. So this is how this works. So negative b is actually a negative negative 5, so that's positive 5, plus or minus. b squared is negative 5 squared minus 4 times a is 2, and c is negative 3, all over 2 times a, which is 2. So we have 5 plus or minus the square root of, that's 25 uh, minus a negative, so that's 25, plus 8 times 3 is 24. 25 plus 24 is 49, isn't it? All over 4. Okay, well that's great because root 49 is going to simplify it nice and easy. And so I'm going to have x equals 5 plus or minus 7 over 4, which turns into 5 plus 7 over 4 and 5 minus 7 over 4. Okay, so what's, so that, those are, that is 5 plus 7 is, what's that? 12 over 4 is 3, and 5 minus 7 is 2 over 4, which is 1 half, okay? So um, 3 and 1 half. So those are the possible values for x, okay? The possible values for x. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, find the partner y values for each of these x values. So this is x equals 3 and x equals 1 half. Those are two possible answers. And don't let that freak you out because, remember, when we have... Uh, this, these are really, these are two quadratics. 
So the quadratics could look like this, right? They could look like this, and they could have two separate answers, which is where you'd have your two x values. So they're going to have two intersection points. So you're going to continue on. You're going to plug x equals 3 into either one of the original equations. And I'll do that in red. Uh, I'll do that in red over here. So it just I just did that behind the screen there. So uh, if I put x equals 3 in, I should get y equals 25. So that's our first point. 325. That's our first solution. And then we'll do the same thing with uh, 1 half here. All right, so uh, again, I just used the second equation there, plugged in my second x value of 1 half in for x, solved for y, I got 5. So here's the two answers that I got, 1 half and 5 and 3 and 25 for intersection points. Or you could write it out like this, x equals 3, y equals 25, or x equals 1 half, y equals 5. One of the things you could do to verify that, you could plug um, x and y into both equations and make sure the left side and the right side are equal. Or you could, you could um, graph each of these lines uh, or quadratics and, uh, and check the intersection points and see if they match up with what you have. All right, so uh, upon checking, this is why you verify. I noticed that. Um, I noticed that I forgot a negative sign right here. Look at 5 minus 7, negative 1 half. Okay, maybe you caught that. That's great. Um, so that's going to change this, and it's going to change this. So this is going to be over here. This is going to be 0, right? It's going to be 1 half minus 1 half. So uh, this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 4. Okay, excellent. So go back and check your work. Uh, verify however you can, because you can make a little mistake like that, just like I did. That happens all the time. That's why you need to verify. So there's your uh, there's your answers to your problem, including the little error error that I made that you probably uh, might make once in a while too. So um, so there you go. That is elimination. And again, the key to elimination is picking your uh, picking a variable and manipulating the equations by multiplying all the terms so that you have a positive blank y and a negative blank y so that they match up, so that when you add those two equations together, the uh, y term, or the single term that you've chosen, is eliminated. Mm -hmm.